Hey everyone, this is Laura with We Met Wire Work and More, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute leather and pearl bracelet. The materials we're going to need for this project are a piece of leather, and you can get this at the craft store, leather cording. And you just need enough, because this is a bracelet, to fit around your wrist two, three times. And then we have our little clip, or our little clamp, which is what we use to create this loop on the end of our leather. And then we have a clasp and a couple of jump rings. We have a variety of beads here. You can use whatever you like. And then of course our pliers. We've got our little snips and then these two are our jewelry pliers. So as I said, I already put one of the clamps on here. So what we're going to do on the other side is just create a small loop it doesn't have to be very large just because the jump rings fit in here. Take our little clip and we pop it on top of that. Ideally this little flat part, this little cap is laying flush to the flat part of our leather. We just give it a little squeeze initially with our fingers these are pretty, pretty soft, and then we give it a good, a good squeeze to make sure that it's going to stay on there. It's not coming off. Okay, there we go. So now that gives us a loop on either side of our cord, and then we take our jump rings. These ones are probably a little bit large, but it's what I had oops, kicking around. You could definitely go small, smaller. You can make your own. Pop that on there. Take our little clasp. Get it on there as well. And then we want to close this up. Give it a little squeeze to make sure that it's going to stay. And then we add the jump ring to the other side as well. Awesome. Okay. Ready to roll with that. To start off, I cut a 12 inch or 30 centimeter long piece of the 30 gauge wire that we're using for this project. And you'll definitely need more throughout the project, but this is a manageable size. You get longer pieces and that's when you start to get kinks and it starts to snag. So I recommend going with a shorter length. We're going to pop our clasp into our jump ring there. We're going to find the center of our cord. And then we're going to take our wire here, um, not, you know, leave a bit of a tail on it just makes it more manageable and then we're just going to give a couple of very close wraps and if you end up with a little space just squeeze with your fingers so I would say do three and then come up on the fourth one grab one of our beads a 
put it in there and then continue to wrap once again if you've done three wraps on this side I would suggest doing three wraps on this side and then finish off on the back with both of those Snipping that wire close against your piece of leather. Get in there with your pliers and press that flat. Same thing on the other side. Get in there with your pliers and squeeze that flat. Run your fingers along the bottom, feeling for ends, adjust your bead in there, and there you go. Now I often just eyeball things, but if you'd like to keep your beads pretty even, then by all means go ahead and use a roller. And about an inch apart is what I, what I did on this one. And that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty good. Now don't worry about having your beads on the same part of the leather either as once you have it on your wrist it's going to be wrapped around and your beads are going to be different directions anyway. So I would suggest not, not worrying too much about that. Once again, we take our tail, hang on to it there, oops, and then wrap it. Three or four times. Did this one we did three, yes, so that's what we'll do here as well. Coming up on the fourth wind. Grabbing our bead. Get it on there. And continue to wrap. One two, three, and finishing off on the back, pressing that flat, And there we go. There's our fun little leather and pearl bracelet. So once again, this is Laura with We Met to Wire Work and More. And I thank you for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Hit that bell so you get those notifications. Give me the thumbs up and certainly leave me your comments. In the meantime, have a fantastic day.